Okay, so we just do a little bit of mobilization. This one's quite nice. So you come down into your squat, and then you come and reach up, and then you come down, and come and reach up. You try and keep your heels on the floor. She got really tough, my pants got me, struggle. And then with this one, we can then extend up into a forward fold. So you come down and do your squat twist. And then you come up and have a forward fold. Really nice lengthening here. So one more. Just squeeze side to side. Come up for your forward fold. Now from your forward fold, walk back and then you can stretch off your calves. So walk your calves out and then walk your calves in. And once you come in, come onto all fours and curve your back up and take it down. Curve your back up and down. One more. And then coming forward, coming down to your hips. So you've got hip, then back to prayer stretch. Just rocking forward, sinking your hips, and coming back. So a little warm up is using the bands. So you just need to have a band handy. And from here, we just do one more stretch into a pigeon. So into your pigeon and walk in. So just bend into your pigeon, just to wake up a bit slightly. So when you're ready, grab your band. We're going to do four band movements. So a minute each. So we've got squat, jump and walk. So with your band, you're squat, jumping, whoop, and back. The next one is a squat to receive so I'll go through it as we go anyway. The third one is a squat walk and then the fourth one is coming up. Now you can hold some weights in your hands when you do this if you want to be working your arms at the same time. So we'll start in 10 seconds with squat jump and walk. At so this one you can start with a squat or a squat jump. You walk, you either squat or you jump. It's up to you. We're going to go for 60 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So start with a squat or a squat jump and you're squeezing out. So you can hold on to weights here and driving through. That's it. So push out against the band. Feel it in your glutes. Sink into that squat or that squat jump. Ooh. Feel it in those legs. Keep pushing out against that band. If you don't have a band, you'll be able to lower. So 20 seconds left. Dry those legs. That's it, 15 seconds. Four, three, 
Two, one. The third one. We're walking. Do you want 10 seconds rest here? Squat walk with a squat or a jump or a burpee at the end. Three, two, one. One minute. That's it. Pushing that knee out. At the end of each walk, you can squat or you can squat jump or you can burpee. So up. Again. A little bit shorter now. Try and get into that band a bit more. Okay, 30 seconds left. Leave with that knee. Try not to let those knees knock in. Go on. Try and increase the squat at the end, or the jump, or the burpee. 20 seconds. Squeeze. Want to feel it in your outer glutes? That's it. 10 seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest up. Okay, the next one is squat. This is the last one. Squat to kick. Ready? Three, two, one. You go singles to start with, and then you can increase. So you go one kick, and then another kick. Just two kicks on each side. And then go three kicks on each side. So you're winding them up. Really sink into that squat in between. Keep your chest up. If you like a jump, you bring the jump and then you kick. Jump and then you kick. And that will elevate your heart rate a little bit more. 30 seconds left. Squeeze those legs. That's it. 20 seconds left. Go back to singles. That's it. 15 seconds. Squeeze those glutes. 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rest up. Okay. We're going to do those four exercises once again. Shake your legs up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so we started with the squat walks. I'm ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Off you go. You jump or you squat. So it's just four exercises to go. That's it. You don't need to jump. You can just squat at the end and drive those legs. So it's just four more minutes or three and a half minutes, back with the band. And then the next part of the workout is lower body and arms with the core finisher. Okay, 25 seconds left. In your squat walk, try and go a bit lower. That's it. 15 seconds. It's okay for the legs to burn. 10 seconds left. Feel those glutes. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, squat to seesaw. You might want to add in weights. Um, so you've got more on your arms. So being centre and then other leg. Squat to seesaw. So if you usually go back first, have a go at going forward. So we're mixing up the movement of our legs. That's it. So squat and seesaw. Squat and seesaw. Now really drive that movement of the legs. Backwards and forwards, or forwards and backwards. That's it. It's a bit of a leg burner now. 20 seconds left. Then we've got our squat walks. 15 seconds. Keep going all the way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 
Two more minutes left. 10 seconds rest. Got the squat walks. Are we ready? Three, two, one, off you go. Go nice and low for your squat walk. Put in that jump or that squat at the end or the burpee. I tend to do one at one end, something else at the other end. <laughs> Mixes it up. Okay, drive, drive, drive. Got 15 seconds gone. Go that little bit lower in your squat walk. That's it. Lead with that knee. Lead with that knee so the knee is not caving in. You don't want that knee to cave in and to go against the band. 20 seconds left. Squeeze those legs. Well done. Well done. Keep going. 10 seconds. Keep your chest up. Don't let your back round. Three, two, one, 10 seconds rest. Last one, squat to kick, squat to kick. You can squat jump to kick if you want. Three, two, one, last minute with the band. Off you go. Go singles, start to increase. Two each side, three each side. Might get into a number. Then you want to come down again. That's it. Now 15 seconds gone. Finish down into that squat. Kick out. You're at a 45 degree angle. As you kick out, you're coming slightly back so you can feel it in your glute. 30 seconds. Take it back to singles when you're even and push through those last 20 seconds. Down and up, down and up. Keep going, 15 seconds left. Go on, drive through. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Get the band. <laughs> Band can go. Okay, have a little stretch of your glutes, your quads, your hamstring, longer than that. Obviously, so the next workout we're doing is lower body and core. And we've got three exercises at 60 seconds. So you do legs, arms, legs, and we repeat it three times. The first three movements are, first one is a wide squat. Now, for this one, if you grab two weights, you don't need to be heavy, come down and then you come up into the press. So it's a wide squat and press, but we're going to put in some pulses as we come down. The second movement is, oh, it's a cheeky front raise hold. And then the third movement, is a curtsy lunge. Okay, we're going to start in 10 seconds. So grab two lightish weights or one heavier weight. Toes facing out, descend down into a wide squat. You pulse and then you squeeze up. Come down and pulse and then squeeze up. Pulse, then up. If your weights are quite light, pulse and go to one arm. Do four one arm, four the other arm. So, we want to focus on the pulse now. So come down and pulse for four, and then drive. Pulse for four, and then drive. 30 seconds left. Now see if you can pulse for six pulses, and then drive up. That's it. 15 seconds left. Make sure you're equal on your arms. Go low as you can. Feel it in your legs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest up. Okay, arms. One arm comes straight. 
One arm comes to the side. This is quite hard. You might just be able to do three raises and then switch. If you have a lighter weight, you might want to hold a lighter weight with your front raise. You might just find you do two lateral raises. So challenge yourself. So you're coming up and down. So it's all about your arms. That's it, holding up and squeeze. If you have light weights, you might do five lateral raises. <laughs> if you have heavier weights, you might do one or two. <laughs> it's all about that front raise hold and try and be even on each arm. Got 10 seconds left. Make sure you're equal. Three, two, one. The third exercise is the courtesy lunge. So you're coming to the side and you stay on the same leg for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So you come back and up, down and up. Your knee might just come to here, coming down and up. If this is hurting your knee, just do a straight back reverse lunge. Okay, 10 more seconds. So the front leg, I'm driving up on, coming down and drive, down and drive. And switch legs in three, two, one. Switch legs. So the three movements are a wide squat. Then it is front and lateral raises. And then curtsies. 15 seconds left on this leg. Find descent into that leg as much as you can and drive through on that front leg. Four, three, two, one, done. Okay, we're gonna mix it up a little bit for the next one for the white squat. For the white squat, you come down, you do a heel raise, heel raise, push up. Heel raise, heel raise, push up. Are we ready? Three, two, one. So you sink, heel raise, heel raise, and push up. I always start with the alternate. So if I go left, right, push, I will then go right, left. And I always start with the heel raise on the one I finish with. Okay, do a heel raise, dip, and then push up. Heel raise, each side dip, and then push up. Because as you do your heel raise, you'll be coming out of your squat slightly. 20 seconds to go, remember that dip. Heel, heel, dip, press. 10 seconds left. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, four. Okay, arms we're mixing up. We go lateral raise, then a front raise. Three, two, one. Lateral to front. You can always have one foot slightly in front of the other. To give you a base to use. Change your legs over if you have one foot in front of the other every four or six breaths. Okay, if this is easy, you double it up. You do two front rays, two lateral, and you increase it by one each time. So you then go three front rays, and then three lateral. 15 seconds left, squeeze those arms. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, we're well done. Okay, we're now going reverse to curtsy, change legs. Reverse to curtsy. I'll just give you a minute so you can put your band on if you do want to put your band on. Okay, a minute has started now. You're going reverse, curtsy, but this time we're switching legs each time. You can add in weights, more weights into your hands to increase the resistance 
If this hurts your knees, you can just do a hold, up and then hold. You go much slower, so you're just bearing weight. 30 seconds left. If you feel quite confident, increase the pace and really drive up. So as soon as your knee goes down, you're powering up. 20 seconds left. Power those legs. Well done. Last 15 seconds. Drive through. Eight, seven, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Whew. Okay, 20 seconds rest. There's one more round. So we only have two sets of this. There's three exercises times three. The next set's a bit different. Okay. So we're coming down to a wide. Those that want to, you do a pulse and you're gonna jump. Pulse and jump. Those that want to, you pulse, you squat. Pulse and squat. With or without the weight, it's up to you. Are we ready? Three, two, one. You squat, you come up. Squat and come up. Squat, jump if you want to. Jump if you want. If you want to put in that heel raise, do so. It's all about the legs, this one. All about the legs. Go as low as you can for those legs. As you come up, squeeze your glutes. 30 seconds left. All about those legs. Push those knees out. That's it, stay with it. Use your weight to add resistance. 15 seconds left. Go as low as you can. And pulse and drive up and squeeze your glutes. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest off. Oh, we're coming back to these ones. We do one side for 15 seconds, the other side for 15 seconds, and then 30 seconds of these. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Okay, raise up, do 15 seconds, but as soon as it gets too much, you come down, then you come back up on the same arm. It's 15 seconds, three, two, one, switch sides, other arm forward, and raise. As soon as it gets too much, you bring it down, but the same arm goes up. Three, two, one, then your lateral to your front. Lateral to front. If you want to double it up and increase the reps, do so. 20 seconds left. Squeeze. That's it. Have one foot slightly forward if you want, and switch your feet if we couple. Drive through for those arms. Five, four, three, two, one, rest off. Now those that want to have more of a drive, we're gonna come into a single leg, drive coming down to up. Those that are happy with your curtsy, you'll stay alternate curtsy. Ready, three, two, one. Those that wanna mix it up, you're coming down, you're driving on one leg and on the other. Do four each side, so you get as much drive as you can in that leg and you swap every four. Those who are doing curtsies, swap your legs each time. If you haven't swapped your legs, swap your legs now. We've got 20 seconds left. Well done. Those knee drives, bring your knee right down. Whoosh. 10 seconds left. Make sure you're even, either your curtsies or your reverse drive. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, nice. Okay, grab a breather. The next round, I'll just go through the exercises quickly. There's three exercises. The first one is a burpee, reverse lunge, squat to press. So you do a burpee, straight into reverse lunge on each side, then squat to press. If you don't want to burpee, you're just doing reverse lunge, squat to press. So you do your burpee, 
bring your weights up, reverse, reverse, squat, to press. It's cute. Okay, let's start in eight seconds. We do it for a minute. Have weights if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. So you're jumping at your burpee, you bring your weights up for your reverse. And then you're coming into your squat and you're driving up. And you keep repeating. If you don't want to do the burpee, you would just do reverse, coming down, and squat to press in your own time. 40 seconds left. With the burpee, you might want to worm all the way to the floor and come up with your reverse lunge. Curl your weights up for your squat to press. Press up. 20 seconds left. Really explore that movement. Burpee reverse. Squat to press. 10 seconds left. Drive your body. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, the next one is arms. <laughs> it's a little bit of a killer. So you're coming out and you're doing arm circles with your weights. And then you come down. If you have hands, <laughs> it's much easier. <laughs> and you can go for longer. If you've got weights, you'll probably literally do four circles, come down. So if you have got heavier weights, you're not gonna go as long. Have certain circles going backwards, some going forwards. Now make sure you are nice and straight, you're not arching your back. You're nice and straight. 20 seconds left. Rest when you need. Squeeze for those arm circles. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Oh my God. 10 seconds left. That's it. Keep pushing through. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest up. Okay, the next exercise is a snatch. So you're going to get five one side, five the other. You come down, tap the floor, and drive up. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So tap and drive. Tap and drive. Do five one side, five the other side. Now explode. So this is power. As you leave the floor, you are snatching that weight off. That's it. Okay, halfway. If you haven't swapped hands, swap hands now. Coming down and drive. You've got 20 seconds. Brilliant. That's it. 15 seconds. Coming down and drive. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. Can we do all that again? We can do it twice. Burpee, reverse lunge, squat to press. Increase your weight if you can. Arm circles, I'm gonna mix that up. And then snatch. Are we ready? Burpee, reverse lunge, squat to press. Three, two, one. Off you go for your combo. Burpee, step back. Increase your weight for this one if you can. Brilliant. Come all the way to the floor if you can for your burpee. Jump up. You can always walk in and out of the burpee. Or you can do it off a chair as well. You can always put your hands on a chair or a step to make it a bit easier. Or you just do the reverse lunge. <laughs> and then the squat to press. 20 seconds left. Drive. Don't stop. Keep going. Ten seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Rest off. Okay. We're mixing the arm circles up with together, out and down. So do some arm circles as many as you can. When you fail, not nice word. Come up, round, there. 
So arm circles. And then coming out. Ooh. 30 seconds left. <laughs> so you've got your arm circles. I might do some more Skip the hook out. And then 20 seconds left. Squeezing those arms. When your arms fail, bring them down. Come them up. So we're overloading the muscles. 10 seconds left. And then we're going back into the snatch. The snatch this time, 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. Three, two, one, quick breather. Are we ready for the snatch? Three, two, one. 30 seconds one side. Tap and drive. Tap and drive. So your hips coming back and you're squeezing that hard up and you're snatching off the floor. Power, brilliant. As much power, last 10 seconds on this side. Three, two, one, switch your sides. Switch, again, power, snatch and pull it up. Snatch, use your whole legs, glutes, arms, 15 seconds left. That's it, drive through, 10 seconds. Keep going, power, speed, five, four, three, two, one, rest off. Okay, one more round, three, burpee reverse lunge, squat to press. If you are feeling tired, Cut out the burpee, just go reverse lunge, squat to press, and rest in between each movement. Are we ready? Burpee, reverse lunge, squat to press. Three, two, one, off you go. Okay, we're going to mix it up. Do one burpee, two reverse, one squat to press, and increase each time. Go two burpees, four reverse lunge, two squat to press, and three burpees, six reverse lunge. Four squat to press, so you can have an increment. 40 seconds left. Thirty seconds. Just aim between those combinations. Make it work for you. Twenty seconds left. Last 10 seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest up. Oh, back to those arms. So this time you circle, when you fail you come down, up and then up. So circles, when you need to rest, you rest, going up to the middle, out and up. Do as many of those as you can, and then you come back down again. You have your circles as the interlude. 30 seconds left. So up to the middle, up to the center, out to the side, up to the top, out to the side, to the center. There. 15 seconds left. That's it. 10 seconds left. Squeeze those arms. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest up, last dumbbell snatch. This time do one for one side, one, then two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Ready? Off you go. So one dumbbell snatch each side. And then two. And then threes in your own time. Well done. So this is the last one of legs and, legs and arms and then we're going to go into crawl. 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Keep that power going. Power, power, power. That's fifteen seconds all the way. Last 10 seconds. 
and you come out. So you basically got a half of a jackknife and it's much more challenging. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds left. right back behind your head. Make every movement worth it. Come on, drive through. Drive, drive, drive. 20 seconds.
on your hips. So it adds to it. And as you come up through the glute bridge, you squeeze out into the band. We're just gonna go for 45 seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, off you go. So you're reaching up, push out, up. You don't need to have your weight, but you can be pushing down into your hips to add the resistance, to really wake those glutes up. That's it, 20 more seconds. Drive up and squeeze out. Drive up and squeeze out. Last 10 seconds. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming over onto your hands and you're gonna squeeze up for a donkey kick. If you want to take your band off, feel free. Are you ready? Three, two, one, up you go. You might just wanna do full one leg, full the other. Try and keep your hips aligned. And you're squeezing out. That's it. Squeezing that leg up. Keep switching your leg over. Got 20 seconds left. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one final exercise. You're coming down, you put your feet together. You can lie down and you're having one knee on the floor and one knee up and you're just passing. If you prefer, you bring both knees off the floor. So pulse, you're gonna stay on that side for another 15 seconds. When it's too much, you just relax it down. Squeeze up and down to the top part of your glute working. If you don't have a band, you'll be able to bring your knee further up. Three, two, one, change sides. And then come up and squeeze. Squeeze that glute. So bring it, depends what your band's like as well. This one actually, if you've got the rubber bands, sometimes a bit better, the fabric bands can be a bit hard. Got another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Get rid of that band. <laughs> Lie down and take it into a glute stretch here. So we're gonna combine the stretches. So you're gonna have two stretches. You've got a glute stretch here, bringing your leg in, and then you come over to the side, and you twist, and relax. And then you come to the other side. So I'm pushing my knee away, bringing my leg in, and then I come to the side and have a really nice back stretch. So you want to do at least two on each side. Bring that leg in, push that knee away. You can always bring that leg up. And then you're coming over a really nice spinal twist. When you're down, just give yourself a little tuck roll. Lengthen out, lie on the floor, and bring your leg up for a quad stretch. Put your head down on the floor, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, feel the front of your leg lengthen. And switch sides. Inhale, as you exhale, feel the front of your thigh lengthen. And then take it into an upward, back down to prayer. Upward, nice stretch of your back. Upward, and just release into those stretches. Coming up to where we were to start. Coming into your frog squat. Twist twist and then forward fold. From your forward fold you might want to lengthen for a calf, calf stretch 
and then come back down. So you've got your squat to rotation. You've got a nice forward fold for the backs of your legs. And then you gently step back for a calf and a calf. So it's a really nice little combination just to go through. Well done. And then when you're done, just slowly hang up to stand. Ease off. 